Hello everybody, how you doing? And welcome back to the Clear Cryptos YouTube channel. This is Oscar Ramos, your host. And in this video, I wanna talk about the Bitcoin stock to flow model and the 1400 moving average. Because if you are looking at price predictions for this digital asset, uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, well, definitely I'm sure that you've heard someone call it, oh, this is gonna reach a million dollars, $100,000 or more. And well, although that's factually true, eventually with the scarcity of Bitcoin, with the potential that this cryptocurrency has, um, we, there are some other different uh, ways for us to predict and analyze besides using technical analysis or any type of formulas that you personally create. And that one is stock to flow model. Now, I've known about this model chart for a while, about a year and a half ago when I started in crypto. And what I can tell you is that it's been right for most of the time. But as you can tell right now, we're way under where the price it should be now. It starts like back in 2010, 2011, when the price of Bitcoin was not really known by a lot of people. It was starting. So the price was five bucks forecasted according to the model, but actually it was like around three dollars or so. So all back in those good old days. I mean, you can imagine the people who bought back then and then probably very rich right now. Well, that is kind of how the way a lot of us were seeing cryptocurrency right now. If we're buying it low, we're expecting for future price appreciation later on. And that's probably why you're watching this video. In all, we're seeing that the model, which is the blue line, kind of goes along with the price, the actual price, which is represented by all these dots. When you see a green, it's kind of closer to the model. When you see a red, it's actually leaving the model, which is much higher, which is pretty good. Now, in this case, everything really started to occur right now, 2020, when the price really is going way ahead from a model at around $20,000 Bitcoin. And the price that is forecasted according to the model is $111,000 $111, for one Bitcoin. So that is a big difference. And we're seeing it right here, how everything started to really go away from the model back in 2021 around June. And then although we have an, we had a nice pump for major altcoins and going back to 60, 55,000, we did not reach the, the predicted price from the model at $100,000, taking the price of Bitcoin much, much lower because of the bear market. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that chances are the price of Bitcoin is going to come back to the model based on previous history and track record. And that will put the price of Bitcoin back at $100,000. So wouldn't that be amazing? On the other hand, moving averages. Here, I'm going to show you something. The moving average for the last four days has been pretty accurate as well to identify uh, cryptocurrency bottoms and cryptocurrency bubbles. In this case, when you see a red dot, that is probably a good idea for a lot of people to liquidate and take some profits. When you see these dark blue dots, that is probably a good idea according to the model and this moving average to add start adding positions because better prices are coming ahead, not overnight, but as time goes on. And that makes total sense right now. What's happening? We are on or below the moving average, which is really good. We're nowhere even close to being right here at the top for 2022, 2023, 2024, but we are right at the bottom. So we're starting, we're doing a reset. So right here on the stock to flow model, we are at the bottom, we're way under the predicted price, seems that we're coming up. That's the forecast for the next year. Assuming that things continue the way they've been for a long time with Bitcoin, we're starting to see approximately 50, 60, 70, 80 Bitcoin as time goes on because of what we're seeing right now. So that is it. Just to have uh, give you more technical analysis view, in this case, understanding the stock to flow model, which is formula and equation already built many years ago that allows us to understand better where the price is heading. There's a lot of different factors, but I think still I'm bullish on what crypto can do in the near future. And the moving average for the last four years tell us that we are at the bottom. What an amazing time to be in crypto, right? Thank you very much for watching, guys. Now you're watching that yesterday. I'll see you next time. Bye.